Imagine a planet defined by extremes, single, colossal continents stretching from pole to pole, creating vast deserts, powerful monsoons, and a unique tapestry of life adapting to a world subtly shifting towards catastrophe. This was the Guadalupian period, a crucial yet often overlooked subperiod of the Permian, spanning from roughly 273 to 259.8 million years ago. It's a chapter of Earth's story that built towards the greatest extinction event our planet has ever known. It held its own wonders. At the heart of the Guadalupian world was Pangaea, the supercontinent. Its immense size led to profound climatic patterns. The interiors were largely arid, creating expansive deserts that dwarfed anything seen today. However, coastal regions experienced powerful monsoonal seasons, bringing torrential rains in summer and fierce droughts in winter. The rest of the globe was dominated by Panthalassa, a single superocean, vast and deep. Despite the challenging conditions, life in the Guadalupian seas was vibrant. This period is renowned for its magnificent marine ecosystems, particularly the towering Capitanian reefs found in what is now the Guadalupe Mountains of West Texas and New Mexico. Unlike modern coral reefs, these ancient structures were primarily built by sponges, algae and microbial communities, forming immense bioherms that teemed with life. Aminoids, brachiopods, and fusulinids flourished in these waters. Alongside diverse sharks and early bony fish, on land, the Guadalupian landscape was dominated by the ancestors of mammals, the synapsids. Ow. While earlier Permian saw creatures like Dimetrodon, the Guadalupian introduced more advanced forms. Predatory Gorgonopsians, with their formidable saber teeth, stalked the land. Embodying the apex predators of their time, herbivorous dicynodonts, with their distinctive tusks and turtle-like beaks, were also highly successful, forming large herds. Early reptiles, the sauropsids, continued to diversify, including various pair reptiles and early diapsids that would later give rise to dinosaurs. Insects, including early beetles and flies, continued to buzz through the skies, adapting to the changing plant life. The flora of the Guadalupian was a mix of the familiar and the new. In the wetter coastal regions, remnants of the Carboniferous coal swamps could still be found. However, in the vast interior, the landscape was increasingly dominated by drought-resistant plants like conifers and cycads. Foreshadowing the drier, gymnosperm-dominated world of the Mesozoic. Crucially, the Guadalupian period ended with a significant monsoon crisis, the Capitanian mass extinction event. 